Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 14. So iOS 14 has been released bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS. So in this video, I will show you guys the first 14 things that you should do once you get iOS 14 on your device. The first thing we're talking about are the home screen widgets. I know a lot of people are excited to have home screen widgets on their iPhone. This looks really, really different. And of course, a lot of people will use them and will add as many widgets as they can to the home screen of their iPhone. But what I suggest you do is go ahead and pick which ones you need. Don't add a ton of them, like just go ahead and add widgets one by one. Just notice that they use battery power, they use CPU power, so it's not good that you just fill up pages with different widgets on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Again, go ahead and choose wisely which ones you want to use. Now, with a ton of widgets that are right now on iOS 14 and with thousands more that are coming with a third party apps, I know a lot of people will be having a ton of widgets to choose from. So be careful which ones you use. Of course, don't use a lot of them because they will have an impact on performance and battery life. Like right here, I only use on daily basis the fitness one, and the battery one which shows me the batteries of my devices which of course is very very useful the other ones you can go ahead and simply remove if you don't really need them the second thing you should do once you have ios 14 installed on your device is move your apps to the app library the new app library is very useful i've been using it a ton and it is of course very very convenient you will have all the apps here categorized and with time you will learn which app is in which category and you can quickly find that app you can of course use also the search bar here and in seconds you can find any app that you need you will find apps way way easier than having them on the home screen on different pages have like a ton of pages with apps that you most likely don't even use that often so so moving apps to the app library is very easy. Three to touch on them, tap on remove and move to app library. Or you can just go ahead, drag one of them, just like you do to move between pages, select the other ones and just go ahead and release them right here on the app library. And they of course will be automatically categorized on the app library. Now this is very convenient. You will have a nice clean home screen. And of course, all the other apps will be on the app library. At first, of course, it will take some time for you to move the apps to the app library as you have to do that manually. But in the future, you don't have to do that. That can be done automatically. So this is the third thing that you should do once you have installed iOS 14 on your device. Go to settings and go to the new home screen section. Right here, go ahead and choose app library and every new app that you install on your device will automatically be moved to the app library it won't even show up on the home screen at all so that's really nice to have automatically move every app to the app library and right here will also have an option to enable badges for the icons on the app library Another really great thing that you can do on iOS 14 is hide pages of the home screen. So right here you can see I have this page with widgets. Sometimes I might need them so I don't want to remove them and I don't want to like destroy this configuration that I've done right here. But what I can do is just tap anywhere to go to the edit mode, tap on the page dots and here I have all the pages. Go ahead and deselect that and it will be removed from the home screen. So if you have any like pages with apps or folders or even widgets and you don't want to see them, but you also don't want to remove them completely, you can just go ahead and hide them like this iOS 14 now allows us to use third-party apps as default apps. So you want to browse the internet, you don't have to do that by default using Safari. So if you're within an app and you tap on a link, you know that it will by default open on Safari. But what if you like Chrome better? Then you can go ahead and go to settings and just find the app that you want to use. So in this case, Chrome. Now keep in mind that apps have to be updated to meet the criteria that Apple has set to be able to be used as default apps so you will have browsers mails and also music apps i believe so right here you can go to chrome and you can set this as a default browser so go ahead and configure your apps and set them as default apps of course if you don't want to use the apple apps now once ios 14 was released on its first betas there was a big buzz about a new feature that was hidden within ios 14. so when you go to accessibility and go to touch 
right here you will find back tap but you will have to first configure this feature so if you want to use back tap know that you will have to go to settings go to accessibility go to touch go to back tap and here you will need to configure the actions that you want to perform so you will have like two different gestures you will have the double tap and you will have the triple tap you go ahead and choose whichever action you want to perform using that gesture so in this case i can go ahead and have the system actions right here or accessibility or i have the scroll gestures or even shortcuts so you can also invoke shortcuts using these two gestures so double tap and triple tap so just like that you can of course go ahead and use back tap to perform different actions by double tapping or triple tapping in the back of your iphone there are a few other things that you should do that of course have been on previous ios versions as well one of them is on their battery health and it's optimized battery charging now you should always have this enabled on the long run it will make the battery of your iphone last way way longer so make sure you always enable this also make sure you use dark mode as much as you can you can go to your settings and you can go to display and brightness and set the dark mode manually or choose the automatic mode which basically allows you to choose sunrises sunset or you can basically use a custom schedule now using dark mode of course on devices with OLED displays will increase the battery life a ton so all the pixels that are basically black will be turned off that way your iphone will last on battery much much longer also don't forget to enable auto lock always on every device every ios version this is a very good thing to do go ahead and enable auto lock so you don't forget your device unlocked and someone can have access to it because of course with auto lock it will automatically be locked at any time that you set Another cool new feature of iOS 14 is the new picture-in-picture -picture mode. So when you're on a video player, you can go ahead and tap that button right there to go to the picture-in-picture -picture mode. But that can also be done easily. You just go ahead and swipe up to get out of the app and you will have the video automatically on the picture-in-picture -picture mode. But what you need to do first in order to make this happen is go ahead and go to settings, go to general, find picture-in-picture -picture here and enable start picture-in-picture -picture automatically. So every time you swipe up on an app which is playing a video and it supports picture-in-picture, -picture, then it will go automatically to the picture-in-picture -picture mode. The next thing you should do is go ahead and configure your automatic updates. We have new options for that on iOS 14. You go to general settings, you go to software update, and you will have here automatic updates. Once you go here, you will notice that now we have Two different options here you have an option to enable download updates so which means that it will automatically download the update but won't install it on the device and you will have the second option right here which can be enabled to automatically also install the software so if you just want to download automatically not install then enable just the first one if you want everything to be auto automatic then you can go ahead and enable both of them with iOS 14, Apple has added some really incredible features. And one of them, which I really like, is found under sounds and haptics. If you go here, you will find headphone audio, and this is a new section, which is called reduce loud sounds. Now, if you enable this, it will basically, your iPhone, it analyzes the sounds that come to your headphones and will reduce loud sounds. Now you can set how much it will reduce loud sounds with the slider right here. So you can see the decibels right there. And it also shows you a description of how loud that sound is. With iOS 14, Apple has added some new automations. So you should go ahead and configure these, add these automations to your device because they are really, really useful. Go ahead, go to the Shortcuts app, create a new automation, scroll down right here, you will find three different options. You will have low power mode, you have battery level, as well as charger. So you can perform different actions when your iPhone is at certain battery level or when you plug it in to charge. So for example, if I go to battery level, I can choose my device to go to low power mode automatically when it reaches any percentage that I want right here. So I can set the percentage, go ahead, choose low power mode on, and then automatically it will go to low power mode once this percentage is reached. So very nice, very cool automations that have been added with iOS 14. And of course, the new feature of iOS 14 sleep mode that has to be configured and you can do that by going to the clock app and under the alarm section, just go ahead and tap right there and you can turn on the sleep mode. And of course, it can be configured from here. So you'll have basically this like dial right here, which you can go ahead and set your 
bedtime and your wake up time and right here we'll have all the different options all the alarm you can set different alarms snooze can enable or disable snooze everything can be done directly from here so that's basically it for this video guys these are the first 14 things that you should do on your device once you have it updated to ios 14. i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you found it helpful go ahead leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more ios 14 videos and i will see you guys on the next one.